Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Sadie. And today's lab is all about conductivity and bonding. Conductivity is the measurement of a solution's ability to conduct electrical currents. This experiment will explore the conductivity of both ionic and covalent compounds. You want to make sure that your setup is correct before you start. In the beginning of this lab, you'll want to prepare aqueous solutions of both sodium chloride and sucrose. And you'll want to obtain two grams of your solid on the digital balance like I did earlier. Make sure you record your mass to up to three decimal places. It's okay if you accidentally pour too much sample out, but make sure you never put that sample back into the stock container. Place the excess into the waste container. Once you add your sodium chloride to the water, you'll want to make sure you stir until the solid completely dissolves into the water. We first need to test the conductivity probe to make sure that it reads to about 38 microsiemens per centimeter. If it doesn't give this reading, make sure to wash with dishwashing soap and distilled water. You want to let your conductivity probe set for about 30 seconds before you get your reading so that it can stabilize. And you want to make sure that in between each reading, you wash the probe with distilled water. When finished with this step, make sure you dispose of the contents in beakers two and three. In this next part of the lab, we'll see how the solubility of a solution affects its conductivity. Once you have your samples measured out, make sure you add each of the samples into the proper beaker and stir for one minute each. Sadie, how will I know if my chemical is dissolving in my water or not? Well, your chemical should dissolve or not be able to be seen. Look at mine. Okay. So it looks like yours would be insoluble. Now it's time to measure the conductivity of each of these solutions. Make sure to watch the conductivity probe between testing for each solution. And in the final part of this experiment, you'll use the solubility and conductivity of an unknown solution to determine whether or not the unknown is an ionic or covalent compound. Once you finish all three parts of this experiment, be sure to wash all the glassware and the probe and return them to their proper locations. And because you've been dealing with chemicals, make sure you wash your hands before leaving the lab today. Good luck!